All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire Louis L'Amour paperback collection of Western novels and short story collections. Um, there's 114 uh, books here on this shelf. All Louis L'Amour books. This is my Louis L'Amour shelf in my library. I mean, I've got a massive library of over some 6,000 books here. And um, one of my most prized possessions is this Louis L'Amour collection, which I was collect. I've been collecting these books ever since I was a teenager. And which was a, some good 17,000 years ago. So this is a big collection that goes back a long time. 114 paperback novels. Um, 25 of them are short story collections. So I don't know what the math is on that. That makes So there's not all of them are novels. That's all I'm trying to say. They're not all novels. Some of them are 25 are short story collections. And if you do the math minus 114, that's going to be somewhere around, I don't know how many novels. But there's a lot. It's just a fucking lot of them. Okay, and I enjoy every one of them. One of my favorite authors of all time. One of the first authors I started reading as a youngster down in Sevier County, Utah, which is cowboy country. Nothing better than sitting out on your porch in southern Utah desert reading a Louis L'Amour novel when you're a kid. It's paradise. So let's get to it. I want to show you. We're going to go through each book. Um... I'm not going to say much about each book. Sometimes I'm just going to hold up the cover. Um, there are, let's start with the short story collections that are over here. There's 25 of them. So, um, and these are jammed tight into my shelf. So I might be wrestling with them to get them out. Um, so here's uh, the start of the short story collection. Um, and gosh, these short stories, I don't know what to say about them. There's so many of them. I mean, there's 25 there's probably about 10 short stories in each book times 25 books. That's got to be at least two, 200,000 stories here we're talking about. So, um, what one was this one? Off the Mangrove Coast. Now, I will, as we go through these things, I'm going to show you that Louis L'Amour wrote like 95% westerns. But he did also wrote some thrillers. He, he wrote, yeah, he write it. He written. He done wrote some thrillers. Um... Some horror novels, uh, some supernatural novels, and even some uh, historical fiction that was not Western that was set in Europe. But we'll get to those. But this off the Mangrove Coast, this is a collection of short stories that he did not Western themed. Where should we put these when we're done? <laughs> we'll stick them down here. Um, we've got uh, Beyond the Great Snow Mountains. There's a good cover there with a with a, a bush plane, an Alaskan bush plane on it. Um, these are some of his short story collections that don't really have to do with Western themes. Night Over the Solomons, he wrote some World War II Western theme stuff. And then The Hills of Homicide, he wrote a few short stories about, um, you know, mystery novels and murder mysteries and things like that. Um, those are his, um, let's see, I think there's another couple of non-Western short story collections. Uh, We've got, uh, no, I think that's it. I think those are, are it. Now we get into his Western short stories where he really excels. Sorry if my back is turned towards the camera through most of this. But there's Valley of the Sun. Again, as I go through these, I want you to look at the cover artwork for a lot of this stuff. And just how magnificent these covers were. And they just don't do old time illustration like this on covers they just modern modern cover art on books is horse shit it just is this is photoshopped computerized horse shit whereas these are actual paintings of horses um that probably shit but they're they're horses they're actually a paintbrush you know i mean you know what i mean old time illustrations i gotta read the, i'm gonna have to edit out so much of the nonsense i'm saying Okay, then we've got um, Riders of the Ruby Hills, another great 
Western painting. That's one of the things I love about my Louis L'Amour collection is simply the artwork that's on a lot of these covers. It's just so good. May, the, may There Be a Road. This is another uh, Western short story compilation. Um, oh, here's one. West of Singapore. That's not a Western one. That's another one of those uh, World War II co collections. Um, <clears throat> writing for the Brand. The Strong Shall Live. Again, these are not novels. I'm going through the, first of all, I'm going through the short story collections. Um, With These Hands. Uh, let's see. End of the Drive. Monument Rock. The Outlaws of Mesquite. Look at that dude there. He's in the defensive position, if you know anything about MMA fighting. He's got the defensive position with some pistols. No pistols in MMA fighting, but he is ready in the defensive position. I only know that because in the police academy we had to do a lot of that stuff. Get in the defensive position. Uh, Outlaw Flats, another... Look at how awesome that cover is. That's just dope. Look how the foreground is just rocks. There was an artist out there that painted... 12 million rocks for that cover. That is, oh my God, just looking at that, that is unreal. You just don't get that type of quality artwork anymore on book covers. Um, From the Listening Hills, Law of the Desert Born. This cover is marred by the uh, author photo right in the center of it. Um, but you know, what can you do? Um, I mean, the author, well, there, there's a photo of him on the back. I mean, I don't know why we need one of them on the front. A minor quibble. A minor quibble. Another um, great cover. This is the trail, of, trail to Crazy Man. Well, well, again, the author. What the fuck is up with the author photo on some of these? The last two I held up have this weird ass. You know, I shouldn't complain. Because it's just minor. And it's the author. He, he deserves credit. He should be on the cover. In fact, all of us authors, rather than have an illustration, we should just have our big faces on the cover. Okay. War Party. I got to get moving. Otherwise, we're not going to get through all these books. Uh, Lonigan. Buckskin Run. West of Dodge. That doesn't sound like a, a Western story. I don't know what it does. Um, and then we've got uh, The Long Ride Home, one of my favorite Louis L'Amour covers of all time. That's a great cover by Gordon Crabb, the great illustrator. And then we have um, Baudry and Baudry's Law, some of my favorite gunslinging Westerns of all time. A lot of sh good short story stuff. So now let's get into um, the... Uh, the Sackett Saga. Now, the Sackett Saga comprises these books here. I think there's 17 of them. And it's all told uh, about the Sackett family, how they move from England and settle in the West. And so each book is about a different portion of the Sackett family. One of the great Western sagas of all time. Um, so let's go through these from beginning to end. It starts with um, Sackett's Land, and that starts over in England, where uh, our main character, our main Sackett, starts in like the 1700s. Might be the 1600s, I can't remember. Um, and then we've got To the Far Blue Mountains, where they kind of make their way from England to the, uh, I think the Carolinas or something. But look at the great covers on these also. And these all have, these all have covers done by, I think it's Gregory Manchez did all the covers for these. And then we got the uh, Warrior Path, where they kind of have some pirate adventures. Um, and then Jubal Sackett. I think we're still set in the eastern United States here in the, in the Appalachian Mountains before the family moves out west. And then we get them moving out west, ride the river. Of course, they're riding the river to the west, or so I'm assuming. And then, um, I've read all these before anyway, so if I, if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about, I've read them all. We're rereading each one of these, we're rereading for the channel and leaving a, um, review on the channel. So the Daybreakers, 
Sackett, just simply called Sackett. Lando. Um, Mojave Crossing. And sorry, I don't have time to talk about each one of these individually. But I do have about a third of them already read and reviewed on the channel if you want to uh, go to my playlist of Louis L'Amour. This is the uh, Mustang Man. Then we've got uh, the Lonely Men. Just these covers are so good. Galloway. Treasure Mountain. And this is just the Sackett family as they settle out west, go through a lot of adventures. Um, Lonely on the Mountain. Ride the Dark Trail. The Sackett brand. And then the final book in the 17 book series is um, The Skyliners. And then let's move to some of Louis L'Amour's novels that were not westerns and then we'll get into his main western novels so there's yondering this is sort of an autobiographical uh, biography novel about his life as an adventurer louis l'amour spent his life like in the army he, he he worked on a steamship or something around the world he had a lot of adventures on his own um and then we've got uh let's see let's go over here to um Last of the Breed was his uh, foray into thriller, Jason Bourne-esque thriller, um, Ian Fleming, James Bond-esque thrillers. Um, no Travel Returns, this is another bit of his sort of autobiographical novel. Um, Comstock, well, Comstock Load is a, uh, that's a straight, um, Western. The Haunted Mesa is his horror novel. The Walking Drum is his, his uh, it's a historical piece of fiction set in Spain. It's great. And then we've got Sitka, which is about Alaska. That's the Western theme. Now let's get into his more, uh, simply his more of a uh, straight Westerns and Comstock Load. It's one of his more epic. It's bigger. It's about 600 pages. Um, you'll notice most of his books are around the 200 to 250 page mark. The Proving Trail, that's a great cover. <clears throat> the Quick and the Dead, another great, great cover there. Son of a Wanted Man. Radigan, a nice snowy. It's snowing outside here in Utah, so that's a nice snowy. It reminds me of outside today uh we've got to tame a land crossfire trail all of these books you know they're westerns they're just great westerns westward the tide another great cover uh, illustration um louis l'amour's westerns are just uh filled with western atmosphere great prose great gunslingers this one is the tall stranger and then we have the man from Skibbereen. Move over here to some more of his uh, Western novels. Uh, let's start with uh, Fallon. Heller with a Gun, one of my favorites, by the way. Last Stand at Papago Wells. Matagorda. He's in another MMA defensive position. No, he's he's gonna if he if that's his defensive position in MMA, he's and then we've got uh, the high graders. Let's see. Dark Canyon. I'm gonna see how much time we've got left on this. We gotta hustle through these folks. Gonna hustle through these. Dark Canyon. Silver Canyon, the Cherokee Trail, the Empty Land, Guns of the Timberlands, another great cover, 
Chansey. Hanging Woman Creek. The Burning Hills. The First Fast Draw. Tucker. Down the Long Hills. Now we're going to be getting into the uh, books that... Um, Every one of the books from here on out that I show you, they're westerns, and each one of these books I have already read and left a review of on the channel. So if you want to see the individual review of any one of these books, um, I've left a detailed review of each one of these books that are coming up on the channel. Um, all you need to do is type in my last name into your YouTube search bar, and then the name of the book, High Lonesome, or whatever it is, into the search bar and then, then it'll magically appear upon your screen. So I've, these are all the ones I've read and reviewed. Hi Lonesome, dope cover right there. Um, Taggart, <clears throat> Where the Long Grass Blows, Under the Sweet Rotter Rim. And as I hold these up, I know I'm only holding up briefly, but pause on them once in a while and just take a look at how awesome the covers are. Just, it's, it's just, not only is it great Western stories, but it's a gallery of great Western art. Um, Conagher, The Keylock Man, The Man Called Noon, Brion, Utah Blaine, one of my favorites. And I'll mention when my, my favorites come up. Kid Rodello, another one of my favorites. The Lonesome Gods, one, another one of his thick, epic ones. Bendigo Shafter. And look at that wonderful cover. Uh, colorful, colorful. Okay, some more up here. I mean, we're not even, uh, we're, we're getting there. Passing through. <clears throat> Shalako, another great, great book that I loved. Showdown at Yellow Butte. The Iron Marshal. Kilo. Riley's Luck. The Shadow Riders. Hondo, probably my second favorite or third favorite of the uh, Louis L'Amour books, made into a great movie starring uh, John Wayne. We've got Flint, the gunslinger Flint, um, Milo Talon, The Man from the Broken Hills. I think that Milo Talon and The Man from the Broken Hills are part of a series. Yeah, they're about, my, both of them are about Milo Talon. Rivers West, Catlow, Let's see, Kilroan, The Californios, my number one all-time favorite Louis L'Amour novel. In fact, I love it so much, I've got two versions of it here. Californios, The Californios. This is the version that I bought when I was a kid. First ever. Louis L'Amour book I ever bought and purchased. And then I've got a, another... I like both covers. That's why I've got them both. But this is really kind of a Western slash X-Files-ish supernatural thriller. So it's Western mashed up with a ghost story. One of the most brilliant books ever. Um, then we have Callaghan. And then we've got the Kiowa Trail. Kill Kenny. The Mountain Valley War. The Riders of Lost Creek. I think these next five are part of the series, and they are the um, the Kilkenny series. Um, uh, we've got the Kilkenny, Far Blows the Wind, 
Now this is Board Enchantry. I, I think it's, but they all are part of the same series. Um, the Ferguson Rifle. And over on the dry side, over on the dry side is another one of, is probably my second favorite Louis L'Amour book. And that's why I have two versions of it here. The original version I bought when I was a kid and then another version. I like both covers. But those are all part of a series. And then these final three books are part of a trilogy about the, um, uh, well, no, I think it was, I think all of them are part of the Borden Chantry series. I'm getting them confused. Borden Chantry, North to the Rails. And then the final book, How the West Was Won. And there we have our entire Louis L'Amour collection video. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now they're now I got to put them all back the way they were, which is going to be a struggle, folks. It's going to be a struggle.